Hello and welcome to this Adobe Express lesson all about diversity. And today we're gonna to create some AI generated artwork on the theme of celebrating difference. So to start with, I'm just gonna go down to where it says text to image. Uh, and we can see in the top left, it has a little box. This is where we're gonna write our text prompt. So this is gonna be a sentence or a few sentences. And then the AI is gonna take our sentence and turn that into a picture. So we can go to a content type here. I'm gonna start with none. You could go for some styles here. You might go for a particular art movement or a particular artistic technique uh, or effects or materials. Uh, I like layered paper. I'm just going to go for that and I can always edit it a little bit later. So I'm going to start off with by writing a prompt in here and I'm going to see what the AI manages to come up with. Uh, I'm going for a diverse people of different races and cultural heritage comma, yin yang, comma, unity. So the reason for this is I want a picture of uh, a diverse group of people. I'm using the yin yang symbol as a kind of artistic idea. So the yin yang symbol, you've probably seen it before. Um, it's a black and white semicircles together and it represents unity. So uh, I've also included the word unity. Uh, for content type, I'm gonna put none. I'm gonna use layered paper. Uh, I'm gonna press generate and I'm gonna see uh, what the AI manages to come up with. So wow, already some really nice results. So I can look at my results here uh, and there's lots of different ideas. Uh, I think they do really encapsulate diversity. I'm gonna have a play with a few of the styles. I might change a word or two in my prompt uh, until I get a result that I'm really happy with. So there we go. I've played around with some of the settings here, the styles, I've gone for minimalism, psychedelic, nostalgic, metal, and layered paper. Uh, and this is the result I've come up with. I think it's really nice. Um, it has the yin yang really in the center and it's got a mix of different people uh, on there to represent diversity. So now I'm gonna turn this into a poster um, that is all about celebrating difference. So to start with, I'm gonna press the text on the left and I'm gonna to go to add your text. Now you might wanna write something like diversity or celebrating difference or um, it's good to be different, whatever you want really, it's up to you. Uh, I'm gonna go for this one, same, same, but different. So this is a, a famous phrase uh, from Thailand, it means lots of different things, but in this context, it means that yes, we may all be different, uh, but ultimately we're all human, we're all the same, we have the same needs, the same wishes, and the same dreams. So uh, I don't want the text to kind of be over this really powerful image, so I'm thinking about maybe uh, displaying it in a circle. So I've selected the text here. If I go to text layout, I'm gonna select circle. And I'm just gonna move it to the outer part of the image there. Now I'm just gonna select on this lovely AI image. Uh, I'm gonna grab one of these circles, these handles in the corner and just shrink it down a bit. I want it to fit in the middle of the text there. Uh, what I'm also gonna do is actually crop this image. So if I select the image and I go to crop, uh, I can select a circle shape and it will crop it in a perfect circle for me. So I can just resize it and just make sure I'm happy with it. Those pink lines just show me that it's exactly in the center. Uh, there we go. So I think that's looking, looking pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna select the text. I can play around with some fonts now, um, see if there's something I might quite like. I think Barber Complete, that's quite nice. Um, so already we've got our image and we've got our text around the outside. So uh, I think this image could do with a background image. So you could just use a color or a gradient, whatever you want really. Uh, but I'm gonna go to elements on the left-hand side. I'm gonna go to backgrounds. I'm actually gonna search for diversity and see what comes up. Lots of interesting images we could choose from here. Uh, this looks quite interesting. Play around with them until you find one that you think looks quite good as your background. That looks really, really nice. Um, but I quite like this one with these hands all holding each other. Um, I think that's a really nice strong image to do with unity and diversity. So um, I think we're looking pretty good. There's just a few things we need to play with. Uh, the moment the text is quite hard to read, um, the colors don't all fit together, but that's all things that we can fix. So uh, I'm just gonna select the background here. I'm gonna go to effects, uh, and I'm gonna play around with some of these different presets here. Uh, and see what comes up, see if I can get something that looks quite good. Now that looks quite nice, I think. Um, I think the colors there kind of fit in with our image a bit better. Um, so I'm also gonna select our image because I kind of want it to blend in with our background a little bit better. So I'm gonna go to one of these blending modes uh, and I'm gonna try one of these. So we've got two, we've got multiply and we have screen and they do different things. So if I select multiply, uh, already I think that's looking really, really nice. It makes our, our whole uh, graphic feel like it's all one, which is also in fitting with our theme. So what I might do now is with our text is just play around with the text. So I've selected the text. Uh, I'm actually for the fill, I'm actually gonna have a transparent fill. Um, you'll see why in a moment. So I'm gonna select, instead of one of the colors or the custom colors, I'm gonna 
select the one with this red line across it. So that's see-through. Now, obviously we need to add an outline, otherwise we're not gonna see any text. So I'm gonna go to add outline. I'm just gonna have a black one for now. So I think that's looking really, really nice, really 3D, really punchy and vibrant. Uh, so I'm going to select the text now. I'm going to see what else I might do with it. So for example, I might add a shape behind it. So the default shape is this one, which I actually think works really, really nicely. It's just the colors not perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to where it says shape fill. Uh, and instead of getting a custom color, uh, I'm going to use the eyedropper tool and I'm going to select uh, a color that's already on my palette. So for example, maybe that one, or maybe I'll go for the orangey color on the palette. That looks quite nice. Um, you know what, maybe I will actually fill in this text. I, I think I look like that purpley color from the palette. So again, I'm gonna get my eyedropper tool uh, and I'm gonna go for that purple. Now that's looking really nice. The purple on the orange, I think is really making that stand out. So I think that's looking really good. Uh, I might just go to the shape again. Uh, maybe just reduce the shape opacity slightly. Um, I think that looks a bit neater. So there we go, I think that's looking really good. We've got our title, we've got a background image, and we've got an AI generated piece of artwork all about diversity and celebrating difference. So when you're done, you can give your work a title up here. Uh, we can press download, we could download a PNG. Just press download, it will download it to your computer. Or we could press share. Uh, we could share it straight to Google Classroom, Microsoft Teams. Uh, or we could press publish to web and generate a link and share it with whoever you like. So there you go, there's our AI generated artwork all about diversity and celebrating difference. And now it's your turn to have a go at your own piece of artwork. <laughs>